Hey, good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, September 30th, last day of September. Uh, only have, uh, what, three months to go? Last three, two, three quarters of the year are, will be done after today, but uh, that's for a whole other story. Um, so today, this is your instruction video. Make sure you check out the Today in History. So Today in History, um, on this day in history in 1954, the USS Nautilus is commissioned. What was it? Was it a submarine or was it an aircraft carrier? Uh, make sure you stop by our Zoom to find out the correct answer. Um, so next we have our life in a mission. Oh, so life in the mission. Uh, remember, uh, this is set up as a link. So when you open it, it's either going to open like this page you see here, or it's going to open up automatically as a copy. Uh, if it doesn't open as a copy, remember, you're going to go to file. You're going to go to make a copy and make sure you click entire presentation. I've had a bunch of people that have been hitting selected slides and it only copies the first page. So make sure you do that. Um, so, yeah, so the mission system here, life in a mission is really, really cool. Um, unfortunately, uh, with the uh, virtual learning, we can't do what we normally do. And normally what we do is we have a day where the seventh grade history teachers dress up and we actually uh, turn our classroom into a mission and you guys are able to see hands on what students or the Native Americans rather went through at that time. Um, so unfortunately we can't do that now so we had to turn this into an electronic version so please do not laugh at the videos because some of the videos I created myself and uh, I didn't have any willing participants. So maybe if we all get to come back to school at some point and we actually get to have some hands-on activities I'll, I'll recreate this just so I can have video and uh, you guys can see what it's like. So, so um, on the uh, mission system here, you've got goals of the mission system. Uh, we've got missions and presidios in Texas. This map should look familiar because you've probably seen it before. But again, if you want to make sure you see the full size map, make sure you open this in the present mode. Uh, you're going to have four questions here. Uh, there is a PDF version. Um, so you're going to go ahead and click on this, and you'll open it, and you'll read um, the read the article and find the uh, answers to these questions. They should be pretty easy, if I remember correctly. When we chose these questions, they were almost perfect, easy to find. So you should be able to find the questions pretty easy. Um, next, you're going to have the four main goals of the mission system. Um, remember that it, whenever we talk about the the goals of the mission system, one of the goals is ultimately the reason it's there um the whole mission system not just the mission but the mission system the presidio the mission the rancho and the civil settlement falls under all four of these however uh, when we talk about the specific purpose of the mission itself the actual mission the main goal was to convert native americans to catholicism okay so remember that that's important um, so outcome for building missions in East Texas, um, the missions failed and mainly they failed because they were too remote. There was a lot of floods, a lot of droughts, lots of disease, internal conflicts, and there was a lack of interest in Catholicism. Um, all of the Native Americans just got fed up with it because it was not a fun job when they were living in the missions. Um, so how did the Native Americans adapt to life in Spanish missions? Um, they worked in the missions. They did much of the labor. They learned Spanish songs and dances. They left the missions during hunting and fishing seasons, and they organized their days around the work and, work and worship. It sounds like it would work. It doesn't work. Okay, so here is your life in the mission. I'm not going to read this and I'm not going to click on the video. All the videos are linked to the pictures and it even says click the picture. So when you click on it, there's a YouTube video. Okay. And then this one, meditation and study, another one, click the picture for the video. Kitchen duties, click the picture for the video. Agriculture, click the picture for the video. Uh, map making, click the picture for the video. And the workhouse, click the picture for the video. Okay. Oh, and an Indian quarters. This one doesn't have a video because it's pretty self-explanatory. There's really no video for that. Um, then finally, you're going to have three more questions to answer. Uh, and you've got a video. Watch the video and go ahead and um, name these questions. If you think you can answer the questions without the video, you might be able to. But understand this is going to be for a grade. Okay. And then finally, you've got the slide, or there's two slides left, I think. Uh, you've got East Texas Beginnings. Watch this video. It's actually a pretty good little video. And then finally, you've got the beginning of the end, and it starts talking about why um, these videos failed. Okay. And so there is a... Well, you know what? I don't.
don't remember what that is. Yeah, you don't worry about that. You don't have to click on that. Just understand that it's the beginning of the end because this is the reasons why they ultimately, or this is the reason why they were failing at the end. Okay, so make sure you pay attention to that. Then when you're done with that, after you've answered those seven questions, you have life and the mission quiz. I would recommend you keep your life and the mission open and then answer the questions on the quiz while you're, it's an open notes quiz, okay? This is, this and this are part of your grade today. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to take that back. You need to answer the seven questions for you. This is your grade for today, okay? This is the last grade we're doing for this six weeks, for this, for this um, week. So for those of you who are trying to become eligible, there you go. The grade, yesterday's assignment and this assignment are the last two grades I'm taking for this week before, um, before eligibility is finalized, okay? And then I told you I was going to be giving you all the answer keys. I gave you one yesterday. Here's another one. This is going to be from Tuesday of last week. So make sure you've got the correct answers on there, okay? That's all I have, guys. If you have any questions, please come by and our Zoom and ask. Otherwise, you can send me an email. Have a good day.